YouTube, what up? Welcome to the X01 workshop. Let me here speed this up. This thing is cutting off. I got an update for you. I got some parts in the mail. Um, this is the Joe Strickland slash 4x4. I got the TP powered 940 kV motor on it. Um, I got the 5 millimeter shaft on it. Um, I got an extension for that um, to build it up to 8 millimeter. And uh, I got two gears coming in from, from Crenshaw. Uh, this one right here is the 46. And I got the adapter on the back. It's a 5 millimeter that this can actually fit on there. So I got that. Um, put some new wheels on the uh, Joe Strickland car. Make it look nice. Got the slicks in the front. Um, I moved the ESC from this spot. Moved it right there. It looks nice and clean. I didn't have to do nothing to the wires. Didn't have to add no extensions or nothing on it. It looks real clean. I also got the battery trays from, from Jess. Um, put them on there and mount them so the batteries are nice and mounted. I uh, got some Velcro straps in too. Um, I got the two uh, Big Boy Leopard motors. I'm going to put that in both of these XL ones. Uh, this motor's coming out. I got the Crenshaw uh, motor mount coming in. I bought two of those. One for this one and one for this one. Now I took this one out yesterday and I was messing around with it a little bit with the uh, the amperage and the uh, Castle Link and Unfortunately, I wound up burning this motor out. Somebody told me they can take 8S, but it didn't really hold up too good. So, you see the spindle don't really got no torque to it. You can turn it real easy. So, that's done. It didn't matter anyway. I wasn't going to use it. I also ordered uh, the MIP drive shafts for the back because uh, these are the, the heavy duty drive shafts. And I uh, start, actually, these ones are brand new. I started seeing where they were twisting a little bit. So I got the MIP drive shafts to go on there, but um, I ran into a problem. I can't find, I'm going to have to research this so I can get the, uh, what is it, 17 millimeter at the end of that so I can use these wheels because this is just for regular, I don't even know, one tenth scale, whatever the small wheels that come on it. That's what that's for. So I actually couldn't use it, but I had some brand new um, heavy duty drive shafts over there in my part section. So I decided to just slap them on for now. They'll, they'll hold up. Um, back to the lab with this. I got to find out how do I get the 17 millimeter adapters on this so I can use it. That way I'm going to worry about them twisting and breaking off. Um, let me see. I got that. Um, that's about it. Um, just waiting for the parts to come in for these. And um, that'll be that. I, I took this one out, man. It is, this thing right here is a beast. So much horsepower, man. I mean, I'm really, really tickled to find out what it's going to do when I get it out there to the spot. Uh, that joint was was ripping yesterday. I, I really couldn't even get on it, man. It was so vicious. Um, this one right here, it's, uh, I still haven't really got it out there to test it. But it's going to be... Um, very exciting to see how both of these cars perform with these uh, ESCs on here. Let's see what I can get out of it. Um, this car right here, I got another TP power motor that I ordered. I'm taking this X01 motor out and I'm going to make it back into a speed car. Turn it back into a, a speed run car as it was heating up. Um, I seen Dan P. Dan P had a Poseidon motor on there. I was thinking about getting one, but um. I was anxious to get one. I was going to inbox him and ask him what KV was he using or was he having any heat problems, but it'll probably be a while before he see it to answer me back. So I went and got a, a 150 scale TP power 940 KV motor to go in that. And I got some gears to go on. I'm going to see how that works. And um, turn this baby back into a street car. I got to clean it back up. I got a new uh, body mount right there to put on there because the other one was broken. So um, the VORS, I, I like the way it sounds. It's, that's me. Don't worry about that. It's got a nice scream to it uh, once that baby starts going, man. So um, I, I miss hearing that. I like the way it sounds. So I'm going to do that. And then uh, after that, that was me. So after that, um, that's about it. Hopefully I can get that thing running good without it heating up. And uh, we be in it, man. Um, if I don't get a chance to get out there and do a speed run, we're going to have to wait till the weather clears up. So uh, other than that... Um, to give a shout out to my man Joe Strickland, give a shout out to Dan P, give a shout out to uh, my man Kevin Brown from Connecticut, and um, all the other people out there racing, doing their things, Kenny Malenko, um, you guys, 
appreciate your comments, man. Um, I'll be looking forward to seeing, you know, what new stuff y'all getting into and what y'all putting out. Um, y'all definitely making me get my game up. I appreciate that. The intensity, the, the intensity is something else, especially when you got people doing speed runs at the stroke of 12 at night with lights on their car, <laughs> you know, making me get up early in the morning, going down there, working in the lab. So, um, I appreciate that. But, uh, until then, um, peace out brothers. I'll get up with y'all when the rest of the parts come in. All right.